Nah, because remember, even though I never agreed with this, there were people that said that EPMD was sounding like Rakim. You got to remember that that was a thing. And they they uh, both each rapped about it on their albums. So yeah. it, it was a thing. And people, I don't get how they think Eric Sermon sound anything like Rakim. I think it was more PMD. PMD. But it, they definitely... Uh, Easy said I sounded like Rakim. around town Rock. talking this Easy and that. said I sounded like Rakim. That's why oh. he didn't want to uh, f*** with me on Ruthless, because I sounded too much like Rakim. Remember on So What You're Saying? Remember on So What You're Saying? People around town talking this and that, how we sound like the R, and our, our music, music was, was whack. whack. Dropped the album straight with the business. Bold. He thought it was, it was bold. bold. 30 days later, LP went gold. So what you saying? So there was always that element to it, but they, no one, I've never heard anyone, nor are they, but... Nobody looked at EPMD whack, but I also never looked at them as Rakim, even though some people did. Because I they, never did either. But they I never slow. got that res- resemblance of, of sounding like Rakim. Because when I heard So What You Saying and Parrish was saying that, I was like, who is, who's comparing them to Rakim? Like, I'd never heard that until they said it. But then I asked people around, and then when I would meet people in New York later, they're like, oh, yeah, a lot of people thought that. Because I guess it's because they had a slow flow, and they were laid back, and they weren't. Animated. Yeah, I, I can see them trying to uh, say, you know, PMD because, you know, he has that slow flow too and yeah. that drawl of, of, of his speech. So, but never, I never, never, um, <laughs> never would have thought it. Yeah, not in a million years. And I was fans of both. You know, I grew up on Rocky M and EPMD. Me too. Um, so, uh, I would have never thought that. Nah. Never. But you, a lot of that just comes from, Somebody being the first, yep. And whether it be friends or homies or just fans, anytime somebody comes out new trailing, it's always you gonna get that. Oh yeah. man, you trying to be so and so, or you trying to be so and so until you make your significant point, or you or you make your presence known. That nah, nigga, this is me, you know. But right. a lot of people would would get that. Oh, who y'all trying to be? Exactly. And we same shit with us. Oh, oh, y'all trying to be NWA, which y'all CMW. You right. Feel right. me? You know, mm-hmm. you get that until you have and to make your was, stand. There was a rap group, America's Most Wanted. There was a rap group, Detroit's Most Wanted. Yeah. There was rap, all kinds all of most, most wanted. wanted after yeah. CMW. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah a lot of them. get in line, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Still, they were always there. It was get just it, that they were. Get it lied, sucker. Not. not uh, oh, oh, some y'all was original though, eight. Hey? Nigga, we was original, nigga. See them dub, nigga. Compton. Don't mm. play. Man, this is crazy. But yeah, they always had somebody coming sounding like somebody else. That's for sure. Man, and the, the best example, the most egregious example is Dos Effects. So many people bit them and wanted to. Oh yeah, everybody. A like lot them. of a lot of motherfuckers wanted to get them a little chickety chickety in yeah, exactly. every now and then. That dude, Das Effects. They was they they're the be, most bit ever. Yeah, because they were so they killed their career a little bit. They, everybody biting them hurt them. Yeah, yeah they style them. was so mother. <laughs> just ridiculous. I love Das Effects. It was off the hook. It was original. Wow. I was like, yeah. like you said, because because of. The fascination with their exactly. style, and nigga. You heard a gang of niggas chickity chickity, yeah, and hard and fliggity yeah, is this shit. Shizzle, <laughs> dizzle, nizzle, yeah. all that. A gang, all that. A gang of niggas bit my niggas from the. Oh, y'all got effects, nigga. We got that shit too, <laughs> nigga. Chickity chickity, nigga. My stringity stringity, nigga. Dude, man, I just remember that was that was one of the main tapes. That my boys loved in Maryland. Das Effects, man. Dead serious. Das Effects was hard. Woo! Man. And their beats on there? Oh my God. Yeah, they, they kind of flipped Ooh. the game, right? I mean, Ooh. where they come from? New York? Well, one's from New York. Uh, Dre's from Jersey. Yeah, the they had some, from New York. They had some hard shit, man. They beats was just like, yeah. damn, man. Yeah. These niggas doing, they, damn. Yeah, exactly. And their other albums are great too. Mm-hmm. They're just very different. Now that but, first album just oof. it was just out the but you know sometimes when motherfuckers come out and that first project, man, it's just out it's like 
You can't you can't touch that again. Yeah, man. You, it's you can't. untouchable. I don't give a f your other shit was good, but you can't you can't touch that ever <laughs> again, man. Because it's magic. Yeah, it had man. never been done before and it could never be done again because of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm, man, man, come on, that bump, skiggly bump, man. Y'all better stop playing. Man, the